All right, Bill. Draft night for the Knicks. That was that was that was something for the, for the fans of that team. But it was all a setup to make room for the guy they apparently <laughs> wanted all along, Jalen Brunson. Looking back now, <laughs> how do you grade what the Knicks did there? All right, I'm going to give a grade. And sometimes when you're a professor of anything, including NBA uh, free agency and trades, uh, the students can get angry. I, I understand that. You have, you have to go, especially in these subjective classes, with what you believe. I know not everyone agrees with me here. It's a straight D plus. I, it, it really is. And I actually, for, I remember, I think you and I were talking. I was on HQ. The trade came down. Kemba Walker goes out. They free up cap space. You know there's more cap space. They're going to free up in the days ahead, which they did in another trade. And we all thought to ourselves, okay, they've got a plan. Leon Rose used to run basketball operations on the agency side for CAA. Now he runs the actual basketball operations for a basketball team in New York. He knows what he's doing. They've got, maybe it's next year, maybe it's the year after, whatever this money is for, this flexibility, it's gonna be outstanding. And then they go and they get a guy who averages 16 points per game, who his per 36 minute numbers, if you just adjust for how often he played, markedly less impressive than, say, Anthony Simons in Portland, who I really like, but markedly less impressive than that young man. Same draft class, just hasn't had as many minutes in Portland. He, Brunson's just not a, not a game changer. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe Rose has a long-term plan. Maybe Brunson is the second or third best player in a vision that will be executed by the Knicks over a two- or three-year timeline. But having covered the sport for almost two decades, having followed the sport for three decades, having never seen that sort of foresight on any level by the Knicks, consider me remarkably skeptical that that's the case. I don't love the Jalen Brunson signing. I think it's too much money. And I think if anybody screams potential bust in this class, and there's always some, right? Guys sign and make a bunch of money. Every local media guy, every fan says, this is amazing. It, it never works out that way. Not everyone's amazing. If anybody is that bust, to me, it's Jalen Brunson going to the Knicks. Well, Do you want a sports network that delivers everything that matters about the game? The highlights, the picks, the instant analysis, no yelling, no fake debates, no politics. Hit the subscribe button and never miss a moment.